Hello everyone. So when I harvest a melon, a watermelon, I always have a problem because I want to cut it open as soon as I harvest it to have the, 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 the peak of the juiciness. But at the same time, I think nobody likes a, a warm watermelon. So I always have the big dilemma if cut it open right away as soon as I cut it, or put it in a fridge for a few hours, cool it down, and then cut it. Anyway, so my solution to that, so we're gonna cut, we're gonna open this watermelon. Um, I think it's ripe. If you can see here, the tendril are uh, dry. Also the vine, you see, is dying back, so. It doesn't look too ripe to me, but uh, anyway, the vine is dying, so might as well try it. We have other couple of watermelon in case. So what I do is this. We get a nice bucket that is full two thirds of water. We put our nice melon inside with a bit of the vine. You can see the melon there. We dump a nice bunch of ice and to finish off, oh, I lost the microphone. Anyway, let me fix it. All right, to finish off, we put this to keep the sun off of it. That's it. Now we cool it down for a few hours and then I'll bring you back when we're gonna cut it open. All right, moment of truth. It's nice and uh, cool. So we got, we left it, uh, I think around three hours in that bucket. And now we're gonna open, let's hope. It's mature where we're gonna open. Let's see. Let's open it from here. Good, cracked open. Let's see. Ready? Boom! Yes. It's kind of a pinkish, but it's probably even the variety, but it's mature all the way. So before letting you go, I'm gonna take a little taste and we'll see and this one as you can see it's a seedless watermelon so let's see how's the taste very good thanks for watching cheers